Hey guys, welcome back to Enrique's Do It Myself YouTube channel. Today we're going to be working on a antique vanity. It's a little beat up. It's uh, it's becoming unpainted. The stain has came off. So what I want to do with this is turn it into a modern antique vanity. With that being said, we're going to be using a glitter paint, which actually I'm going to be making myself. I've watched a couple videos and from what I've seen is the glitter paint that you buy already made is very runny and you have to do multiple coats on it. So I'm going to make my own glitter paint. So let's go to the store. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all washed out. Hey, I can't even see you. I know. <laughs> anyway, you know we gotta talk with the road because we gotta go to Lowe's right now. Alright, we're at Lowe's. I'm getting ready to go get some crystals. Earthquake! Let's see if they have them, guys, because they haven't had them the last few times that we've been here. Oh, crap! Found them! Yes! Oh, I think we need more than this. That shocked me. Oh, I got it. How many should we get? Just in case I decide to use them anywhere else. I don't want to return them. Okay. Cause I'm going to use them for everything. Danku. So I will start by introducing all the product. This is Valspar's paint crystals. The Valspar paint. Actually, I'm not getting paid for this, so don't think I am. We have Poly. Polythane, a kit for painting, a machine sander. If you don't have one, you can sand by hand. I'm gonna actually get into the small crevices and sand by hand, just because this machine will probably ruin the crevices of everything. So we're gonna start by taking out all the drawers that way we can unscrew the, um, the handles, the little knobs. Of course, you don't want to put them back in, and the reason I say don't put them back in is because if it is a antique, of course, you're gonna have a hard time pulling the drawer back out. So just take them off while you have them out. Now that we're all done taking out the drawers, we can get crazy. So I went ahead and put a mask on and some glasses because the sawdust is terrible for my eyes because I have contacts on. <laughs> and then breathing in all that sawdust isn't good for you either. So you might want to wear goggles and a face mask.
sand down. Now what I did notice is that if you look at it, it looks pretty cool now. So if you're comfortable with that and you want to keep it like that, you can just get the polyurethane and then just coat it with that. That way it seals the wood and it doesn't get like water damage or if you leave like a cup of water or something on it, that would be fine. It's really up to you. But I still want to do my glitter paint. So the paint that I'll be using is called Crucible. I don't know if you can see it, but it's here. It's a really pretty gray color. It's like a... I don't even know how to explain what two colors are even mixed together for that. So pretty much, you're gonna have to mix the paint with the crystal. Remember, you're always supposed to mix your paint before you use it. That's a pretty color. Mix it up. So the instructions say that one of these packages should be good enough for a gallon. And it says two packages, the lighter the color, you need two packages for the glitter to show up. Of course, I don't want to do two packages even though it's not a gallon, but I'm just going to stick to one package because I'm probably just going to use this quart cup to measure out a quart. Now I know exactly how much I'm using versus just pouring it into the pan. I'm about to make on this. So the instructions say to pour slowly, don't pour it all at once. I already know I'm gonna have glitter all over me for the next probably 20 days. Oh, I already got paint on me, really? <laughs> Can't take me nowhere. Look at that, guys. Glitter crystals in there. Look how pretty that is. I'm gonna keep pouring. I want to use one bag for this port. I want the crystals, I want the glitter to exaggerate. Look at that. That is so pretty. Now of course the instructions do say that as you're painting, you're not going to see the glitter. But once it dries, you definitely will see it. When you're mixing, you kind of want to pull it out, dip it back in, pull it out, dip it back in, because you want that glitter to get everywhere, not just on the top layer of the paint. If I do, it's an excuse to go shopping, ladies and gentlemen, if you like shopping. This looks so good. It's so pretty. Full package. Sorry, mosquitoes. Now that we have our little board, I'm gonna just tell y'all now if y'all don't wanna ruin y'all's clothes, don't wear good clothes, go to the Goodwill, get some cheap clothes. Are y'all ready? Because I'm ready. I'm excited. Ooh, that is really pretty. I can already see the crystals because I put in a lot. I'm excited about this. Y'all just don't know. I'm containing myself right now. And then since I'm painting outside, y'all know how fast this is gonna dry? It's gonna dry really fast. I mean, painting is the easy part. Doing all that other rubbish, sanding it down, that's the hardest part. Now, if you go to your local hardware store, they can probably help you with that. There's certain paints that don't require you to sand it down, that you can just paint over anything. But you might wanna ask whomever's at the hardware store. Already dried and the glitter looks amazing. 
it's very subtle. It's not it's not overpowering and that's what I love. Hey! Ugh. Oh man. Can't take me nowhere. No, this glitter paint looks amazing. I like the color because the cuddles the oh, 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 oh. Can I talk? <laughs> the color is very um I mean it's gray. You can't go wrong with gray. And you know this year, for some odd reason, the trends are like grays and and blue grays. So if you like look at magazines, if you look at like DIYs and everything, like everything is just it's a blue gray. Like it's it's just gray is just in. That's the color of the year. Following trends, yo, following trends. And yes, I'm dabbing. Just kidding. I'm dabbing the brush because I can't get into these little edges, these little trims that are in there, so you gotta kinda dab it to make it go in and then you just brush over. I'm not painting the whole drawer. I really do want to paint the whole drawer. I'm not going to waste paint. Who's going to see that whole drawer anyways? But if you do want to paint the whole drawer, you can. I might end up painting the whole drawer. I'll see if he kicks in, to be honest. But not with the glitter. I'll probably just paint the whole drawer gray. And the instructions say to let it dry for 30 minutes. But it also says to let it um, completely dry for two to four hours before adding another coat. Well, I'll be honest with you, since I'm painting outside, Paint dries really fast, so you could probably do it within an hour or less. Okay, guys, so this is the finished product. I only used a quart of paint, so don't go crazy and buy a whole gallon like I did. But I'm probably gonna be doing more videos like this, so I'll probably use all of that paint, even if I don't add glitter to it. I do have a couple of friends that want me to reupholster their chairs so you'll probably be seeing a couple of those videos all I have to do is put the poly you polyurethane on it all you need is a brush apply it let it dry I'm not doing it now because I have to let this completely sit and dry for about two to four hours that's what the instructions say so I don't want to jump the gun and then mess it up. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comments below. Thank you.